Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Sunday. So we're going to use three decks of cards today to tap in with the energy and then we're going to bring in the book. So we're going to bring in the Angel Whispers, we're going to bring in some Tarot and we're going to bring in some Angel Cards. So thank you Angels, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? I'm not sure what this deck is but it's really powerful. Let's get an energy around the Tarot and what do the Angels want to guide us today? What's the energy around this day? There is a lot of releasing happening today. A lot of change going on as we prepare for a brand new week. And remember, I am doing the weekly readings over here now, not on Pixie Power Tarot. And if you do want to book a personal reading with me for next week, send me an email and I'll give you all the details. So the cards around you today, look at this. We've got the sun. Now, this is really powerful because we're being reminded as a divine feminine how important it is to shine our light bright. We are the lighthouse after all and we are the muse and the inspiration to the masculine. Now, look at the angels here, how they're mirroring each other. So I'm seeing this as feminine and masculine energy. So you are embodying right now, divine feminine, all the aspects of you. That means you're embodying both the masculine and feminine aspects of you and you're learning how to handle this. You're learning how to remain positive when you go through physical things. You're learning how to look on the bright side when you go into a negative place. You're learning how to deal with anything that comes at you because you are the star, you are the light, you are the sun. So this is the happiness that comes to you regardless of what's going on. It's the way you see through the negatives and harness your power to remain in the light. And the angel's saying what goes around comes around. So you're being reminded that karma always has its way. In other words, if anyone's hurt you or let you down, they will be hurt and let down. Okay, You don't have to worry because God has a plan and God sort things out and God sees all and knows all. So if your masculine has hurt you, remember what goes around comes around. They'll either get hurt in the same way by someone else or they'll tell you, that, you know, that what they did to you hurt you, but it hurt them because you won. So they'll apologise. So I feel this is about you knowing that everything comes full circle, that you don't have to worry about revenge or, you know, telling people what's on your mind because God knows all things. As long as you're right with yourself and you're right with heaven, everything will work out right in the end. And yesterday we got the message coming through that says, you know, everything will be okay. Everything is working out beautifully. So I feel those of you that are struggling right now with what people have said or what your twins done or a certain situation, you're being told what goes around comes around. It will find its way. There is a solution ahead. And we've got, he says, show it. This is about growing your garden. And he says, show, he says, grow a garden and share the fruit. But they're giving me the energy of show the garden. So this is a time where you show what's in your garden. And what that means is when we get triggered, when we get stressed out, when we get pushed to our limit, what comes out of us is what's inside of us. You know, when you get a lemon and you squeeze it, lemon juice comes out because that's what's inside of it. Orange juice or grapefruit does not come out because that's not what's inside. So when you get triggered, if something squeezes you, if something affects you, if you lash out in fear, if you lash out, it's because of what's going on inside of you. You know, that's what's in you, hurt and pain. If you respond with love, and what comes out of you is compassion, understanding. If you're able to listen without reacting in fear, then that shows how far you've come. And it shows that you are showing off your garden. Your garden is your mind and the way you react or respond to situations. And the garden contains beautiful flowers that bloom and grow, but also weeds that cause pain and struggle, destruction. That affects the way the garden grows. So we have to constantly be removing and plucking out those weeds to bring in the good stuff. And you're ready to share your fruit. You're ready to be compassionate in this situation and understanding. You're ready to share your light with the world. You're ready to show others how far you've come. And this is keepers of the apples. 
So the apples is about the rewards, the results. You know, this is about you understanding why things happen the way that they do. And honour the divinity of your grief, then spring will return. So this is saying to you, spring will return. Now, where we are at the moment is things are springing back to life. We're moving towards Easter. We're moving towards a rebirth, a change, coming back together. This is about reunion and happiness ahead. And when we honour ourselves and we allow ourselves to feel what we're feeling and we honour those feelings, we prepare for what's ahead. So acceptance is the key. Understanding that we do go through pain and sorrow and struggle and that's okay. What we don't do anymore is wallow in that or try and drag others into that misery because misery loves company. So the best thing to do is rise above it and see through it and understand it and notice it, observe it with love and don't stay in that energy for long because that will move things forward. And it's like when Jesus came through and said to you, you know, he brought in that message on Friday saying, I understand that you're going through a struggle. I understand that this is causing you pain, that it's bringing in grief, but you don't have to be afraid because you are not alone. So instead of being afraid, believe. Believe, have faith and know that what you are seeking is also seeking you. And when we move into a light-hearted energy, we feel better. And this is the energy of Bastet, which is this cat energy, independence, power, psychic knowledge. Allow yourself to be as light-hearted as a cat. And this is the goddess of cats. It's a really powerful energy because, you know, cats are very independent. I know a lot of you have cats. I love cats. And they do their own thing. You know, they're very loving and gentle and passionate, but they also have their own independence and power. So the angel is saying, allow yourself to be lighthearted today. Don't think, you know, or take things so seriously. Don't think of things in such a serious way. Don't try and run before you can walk. Don't try and make things what they're not yet ready to be. Just take your time, breathe and be at peace and make things more lighthearted. So the lighthearted energy is when we pray and ask for help. If you've got time to worry, if you've got time to stress, you've got time to pray. And when we pray, we ask for help and support. And that's really moving into this energy of the sun. So it feels like today the sun is coming out on your situation because you're realizing all this well, that there is a higher power looking after you, taking care of you, that God is in charge, that there's nothing to fear and that you are safe and that what goes around comes around. And a lot of the times in this journey, you know, if your twin hurts you, then you see when they are hurting. You see it if they're going through something in their own life that's causing them pain or struggle, or if they are feeling pain or struggle through what they've done to you. And there always is an apology, but usually it comes when we don't need it. So the message of today is express your feelings in creative ways. So I feel today you've been reminded that communication isn't just a physical thing. You communicate in other ways, very creative ways sometimes. There may be communication coming through to you with expressive feelings through a social media post or a song you hear or a dream you have or a vision that comes into your awareness. You're being shown in other ways. Your feelings are pure energy, like rays of the sun that desire expression and expansion. Pent up feelings create physical conditions such as fatigue, irritability and addictions. So make friends with your emotions today. Honour them all, even those you feel uncomfortable with, and know that each one has a divine reason behind it. When you have compassion and respect for yourself and your feelings, that power will support you. So this really does resonate with the message we're talking about. You know, if you're struggling because your twin has hurt you or affected you, or maybe something's gone on over the weekend that's caused a trigger in you, what goes around comes around. Be light-hearted. Let go of the fear. Let go of the struggle. Remember, show your God and what comes out of you is what's inside of you. When you give, you receive. So be in this loving energy today and know that what triggers you right now is healing you and bringing up wounds 
because where the wound is, the light can go in. There's healing occurring. You are loved and safe and strong and protected. So your feelings, like all energies, need to be dispelled outwardly. Otherwise, they, they come together and it, it all gets tangled up. And, you know, they're doing work on the house next door because they're building it. They're building a foundation so they can sell the house and bring new people in. A family. And this is where you are right now, releasing things that need to go not paying attention to outside distractions or things that get on your nerves or get in your head. You're rising above it by being the light, being stronger and bigger than anything that comes at you. So your feelings like all energies need to be dispelled outwardly. And what that means is it's nice sometimes to have a physical outlet for this. You may want to go to the gym or you may want to do some exercise or have a good scream because it lets your emotions out. You may just need to pick up a pen and a piece of paper and write things down. Write down how you're feeling, journal it. Or write a letter to your twin flame, getting all the pain out. And then turning all the pain into positives. Why this is blessing you right now. It's making you stronger. It's making you the warrior that you are. And then you burn the letter. Or you rip it up, you don't give it to them or send it to them because this is something you do for you. It's a way you can heal through releasing this energy outwardly. Otherwise, it all gets trapped up. It gets trapped inside like steam in a saucepan that gets too hot and wilts the vegetables that you're cooking. So sometimes our emotions get in the way and cause problems. When we overthink, when we procrastinate, when we go into ego and fear, and we blow everything out of proportion. Steam can come out of our ears. Steam can come out of our nose because we are stressed out, and they give me fear. And all that fear and all the struggle inside comes out as anger, comes out as words that we don't mean to say, that we regret, that we have to apologise for. So forgive yourself today for anything you feel you've done wrong, Wipe the slate clean and begin again. Bring out what's in your heart instead through creativity. This means of expression is secondary to the action. As long as it brings you joy, it will serve you. Your emotions will react strongly to the creative form that they want to take. And the possibilities are infinite. You might try photography, jewellery making, tie-dyeing, sewing, writing, singing playing a musical instrument, belly dancing, flower arranging, diving, drawing, crocheting, decorating, painting, making stained glass, knitting, makeup, artistry, embroidery, or anything else that your heart desires. And this is a day where you may be free today. You may have the day free to do these creative talents or even go to an art show or a museum or do something where you notice other people's creativity because it just may inspire yours. So today, express your feelings in creative ways. Allow yourself to have fun and give yourself permission to play. And as you joyfully create and relax, you will feel recharged, revitalized, rejuvenated and replenished. So today, don't let the outside world affect you or get you down. Be the lighthouse. Shine brighter and bigger than anything that comes your way. And knows that what goes around comes around. I feel this is definitely for anyone affected by trigger energy over the weekend. Or if you're still going through physical things. You're being reminded to lighten the load. To honour yourself. By allowing your feelings to flow. And to cry if you need to. And to punch a beanbag if you need to. Or have a scream if you need to. Get it out of your system. And then realise that. This is bringing fresh energy in. When we release emotion, it's able to come up to the surface for healing. And that's really what we've been going through. Experiencing physical things in physical ways so we can heal it. And then we can move forward and spring forward into action. So I feel this is definitely an energy of being very gentle with yourself today. Sharing the fruits of your labour with others. Being a guide, being a healer, helping Allowing the goodness to come out of you and to show the world how you really are and who you really are. 
to be more light-hearted and at peace, to be more independent, to remember your power, to enjoy your freedom. You know, you may be angry today because it's Sunday. Maybe they are spending time with their karmic partner. Maybe they've gone against plans. You had plans and they've said they can't make it anymore. Or, you know, you're being guided to be flexible and enjoy your time. Doing things your way with you. To make yourself your own best friend. To enjoy your freedom right now like a cat does. To enjoy being around others but also to enjoy being with you. And to breathe through it, relax and know that whatever you're going through, this too shall pass. So get ready for a brand new week in your power and say, I know what's in me because that's who I am. I'm not going to react in fear anymore. I'm going to respond with love and be the bigger person because that's the light of the divine feminine that guides your twin home, that guides everything to you and open the doors of love. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.